All right, we're back and we're doing a quick setup on GitHub and GitHub Desktop. We're gonna be using both of these tools throughout the semester to share reproducible code and also to submit assignments. Okay, so let's uh, talk about what we're gonna do in this five minute video. I'm gonna get you set up with a github.com account and also download GitHub Desktop for your computer. And then we're going to figure out how to test this pipeline that involves, uh, oh, we'll, we'll go over that in a, in a minute. So first of all, this is github.com. If you don't already have an account, simply go here, uh, enter a username that you'll be using and um, sign up for a free account. Okay, once you've signed up, then you can log into your github.com account. I'll just show you what mine looks like. And here it is. I've got a bunch of stuff in here already. When you get here, you won't have any repositories. For me, if I go click this little icon and go to my repositories, then I get to see all the stuff I have. Basically what this is, is file folders with files in them in the cloud. So for example, the course website is actually a GitHub repository that any of you can go and look at on my GitHub page right here. It's like 7709 lab. If we clicked it, we would see uh, that there's some files and there's some folders. And I've got a copy of this folder on my local computer and I can um, make changes on my laptop and then send them back up to GitHub uh, whenever I want to uh, update the files on the web. And you're going to be doing something very similar, creating folders with R projects and R code on your local computer, and you'll be publishing them on github.com so that I can look at them and uh, we can learn how to use this process. In order to get all of that working, we need to download GitHub Desktop on your computer. So github.com is one thing, but then another thing is GitHub Desktop. So go and get that. Here it is. It should just pop up and allow you to download this program for the OS that you're running. So go ahead and download that. And once you have those two things, a github.com account and this program, the next thing I want you to do is load up githubdesktop.com. So let's do that. I'm just gonna search for it, GitHub Desktop. We'll take a look at what it looks like. Um, the first thing you'll wanna do is connect this program to your github.com account. So up here under preferences, you want to go to accounts and sign in with your uh, username and password for github.com. All right. Now let's go back to the, the next thing. We're going to test the pipeline. All right. So how do we go about doing that? Okay, I'm going to quit our studio. I'm gonna quit another our studio. And let's just quickly look at our web page. So testing the pipeline, we wanna create a new R project, create a new R markdown document, and publish this project on github.com. All right, and we're gonna make commits and demonstrate that if you make some changes on your local computer, you can uh, see those changes take effect on github.com. So let's go ahead and create a new R project. I'm going to load up R Studio. Now, depending on where you left off, you might be in a existing project that you had made already. So from the getting started, we had I had made a test project in stats the stats class folder. And we could use this one. This would be fine to use. Um, but I'm going to make another one just 
for demonstration purposes. To determine whether you're already in an R project, go look at the top right hand corner. If you are not in an R project, so I'll just close this and you'll see project none. All right. And that will probably just go to your root directory. Uh, I would like to create a new R project for this example. So I'm going to click this and ask to do new project. We're going to do a new directory. It's going to be a new project. And critically, it's already checked for me, but we want to create a Git repository. And yes, I want to put it in my stats class folder that I made. So I'm going to call this, um, this is, the name of this directory will be the name that gets published on github.com. So I'm going to just do 7709g, uh, 7709git test. All right. And now I'm going to do create project. So we have created a new folder called 7709git test. It's also a new R project that we're working in. It's got that R P R O J file and uh, it's also a Git repository. All right. So the next thing in our list, if we looked at it quick, is create a new R markdown document. Let's do that. And if you remember, go up to the top left hand corner, click R markdown. And I'm going to give this a title, um, my doc, press OK. And there we've done it. Um, one thing to note, currently this file is called untitled one and it hasn't actually been saved anywhere. We could save it in more than one way. We could press knit, it will auto save. I'm I could press command S and it would save. I could go up here and press save. Let's just do that. We'll save this file and I want to give it the name my doc. And so we've now saved it in our folder, mydoc.rmd. I'm also going to knit it just to verify that I can compile it properly. And we've done that. So great. We now have, and I don't, we actually don't have two of these. It'll just sometimes show that uh, when you make a new file, sometimes it lists it twice. Okay, so now we have a folder with these four files in it. Let's go to the third step. The third one is publish the R project folder on github.com. So how do we do that? Well, let's consider where we are right now. We are on my computer. This is local. It uh, is, these files are simply in this folder. We can take a look at them. If we click more, go show folder in new window. So we can see here that we are indeed in the stats class folder, the 7709 git test folder, and this is where our files are. Great. Now, because we initialized this folder as a git repository, we can load it up in GitHub desktop. So let me go over to GitHub desktop. And what we're going to do is go to repository, oops, Sorry, we want to click this little button here. I want to get to this page where we can add a new repository. So I'm going to click add. I'm going to say add existing repository. Now we've got to find this one that we're looking for. So I'm going to say choose. I happen to know that we're in the stats class folder and it is the 7709 git test folder. So I'm going to open that. We're going to click add repository. Great. So um, there's a couple of things going on here when we're looking at this. Uh, first of all, anytime we make a change to our files, we will see those changes listed here. So we've actually made some new files in this folder. And we've made some new documents and all of those things are right here. 
um, when you publish a repository to GitHub, uh, you presumably have made some changes to your files. And uh, this process requires you to give a summary of those changes. So for example, I'm just gonna say my first commit and I'm pressing this button, commit to master. And whenever I do that, uh, you get to see the history of changes you've made along with a little note about them. Okay. If you've connected your GitHub desktop to github.com, you can now publish the repository by pressing this button. And um, I'm going to click this, uh, unclick this so that we're going to make this repository public. That means other people can see it. This will be the default for the class. Um, we'll be working in public, uh, but sometimes we might be using uh, private repositories. So let's click publish repository. And what's happened now is it's, it's completed the publishing process. And we should be able to go to GitHub and see that this folder is now up on the web. And a quick way to do that is to just press view on GitHub. All right, now I'm on uh, my GitHub page. And if I go to my repositories list, I can see that 7709 git test has been added. And here it is. Now the same files that are in that folder on my computer are up here. And that's pretty cool. All right, the last thing is make commits and demonstrate that your local changes are reflected on github.com. So we've already done that a little bit, but let me give you one more example. So let's say I go back to our studio and uh, at some point we're gonna start learning how to write an R Markdown document. This is the template that comes with um, R Studio when you first make a new document. What I'm just going to quickly do is I'm going to delete all this stuff. I'm just going to type something and uh, I'm going to make a little R code block. I'm going to do one plus one. I'm going to say the above code block computes one plus one and prints the answer. So notice I've changed a bunch of things in this file. And up here, this title of the document is red, indicating something has changed. I'm going to save this by pressing Command S. And so I saved my changes. Let's go to GitHub Desktop momentarily. And I just want to point out that because we've made changes to this file, those changes are recorded here. The things in red have been deleted. The things in green have been added. And uh, there's a suggested description title called update. Uh, and I'll do that. I'm going to commit this to the master. And so I've made some local changes. I've committed them. Now, this has uh, still needs to be pushed up to github.com. For example, the local copy of this file looks like this, but the github.com copy of that file, mydoc.rmd, looks like it did at the beginning because I haven't updated github.com yet. All right, I'm about to update it by pressing push. So now I've done that. If I reload this, we should see that the version up here has been updated as well. Okay. And if you wanted to see what this looks like, you could press the knit button and you would see that we've uh, started to make it an R Markdown document. And we'll get into uh, how to use R Markdown in one of the next videos.